What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. We are back playing some Pokemon Sword and Shield, hopping onto that ranked double ladder for Series 8. And ladies and gentlemen, we got ourselves an absolute banger of a team for you guys today. We got ourselves a weakness policy Soul Galio team that actually was used to get ranked number one on the rank ladder. So if you guys are hyped, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. Seriously, you guys are amazing. Thank you guys so much for the support that has been going out across this channel. But yeah, this team was sent in by multiple different people. So I was like, let me use this one up. Everyone was like, yo, someone use this team to actually get ranked number one. We, I do not know who though. So if you guys do know who, let me know in the comment section down below or send me links to their stuff so I can throw it in the description and give them credit for this team. But rocking out on it, we got Soul Galio, the heart and soul of this team. Psychic and Steel type is actually Gen 7 Box Heart Legendary. You guys obviously know that. With Sun Seal Strike, Earthquake, Rock Slide, and Protect. No Psychic Stab move though, on this thing. It's got the full metal body for its ability, so its stats can't be lowered. And the Weakness Policy as its item. We got Grimstar right next to him with the Light Clay and Prankster. And you guys know I love a nice little Light Clay Pokemon to set up some screens. We got Sucker Punch, which actually procs Weakness Policy for Sogelio. We got the screens to set up with Light Screen and Reflect. And Thunder Wave the Pester and throw some Paralyzes across the field. Beyond my face cam, we got Spectre, which also pairs well with Sogelio over here. We got the Grim Nay ability, the Focus Sash so we don't get one hit. We have Shadow Ball, Snarl, the lower special attack. Will it West for those physical attackers and Bulldoze, which can proc her policy, slow down every other Pokemon on the field besides Solgaleo as well due to his ability so that's huge so he basically gets like a plus one speed boost compared to the other pokemon because they're all going to drop one and he's going to get his weakest policy boost as well right next to him we got moltres over here with a safety goggles and berserk and that's going to work very well up against venusaur teams and uh amoongus's so they cannot put him to sleep and he can get rolling after him with stab flying moves such as air slash but then we got the berserk ability fiery wrath air slash nasty pot set up and protect bottom left corner we got porygon 2 over here with foul play eerie impulse recover and trick room this pokemon is going to be able to work well to counter trick room to use trick room if they're outspeed us or up against special attackers like dialga and all that good stuff we can just eerie impulse them take them out of the game put them minus two on special attack and just go from there final spot we got tapu finny who is life orb with the misty surge and the life orb like i just said we got muddy water moon blast ice beam and protect and the great thing about tapu finny over here is if they're rolling venusaur or any type of sleep pokemon i can just throw her out there get that messy charge rolling so no sleep powders or spores can get in our way guys if you want to try out the team for yourself rental code is at the bottom of the screen but let's get after it let's hop on to that ranked double ladder try to get some wins with this weakness policy so galio team First battle coming at you guys, going up against a Reggie Gagas team alongside with Shadow Rider Caldex. I haven't seen a Reggie Gagas team in a little bit, so it's pretty cool to see it back on the rank ladder. He also has the Whimsicott, the Lapras, Urshfu, and the Glaring Weezing. You cannot have a Reggie Gagas team without the Glaring Weezing, but I think we're fine to go in with Solgaleo here. And Spectre, or should I go Grimstarl? I could go Grimmy. I think I'm going to go Spectre because I do have that, uh... I do have the, blah, 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 the Snarl for special attackers. I do like that. I'm going to bring the Moltres, I think. I think Moltres is a good call here, alongside with the Tapu Fini. Yeah. Yeah, I'm liking this. We're going to go to Porygon 2 in case he tries to set up speed and all that. What I want to do? What does Jeans want to do? I think we're fine with the squad. I really do think we're fine with the squad. But I do want to apologize for uh, yesterday, by, because by the time this video goes out, it's a different day because I recorded the day before. But yesterday... Uh, I had no uploads, and I'm actually very sad about that, considering my file got corrupted. I don't know why, I went to go upload my video, and it was just like, what? It was just like, bleh. It didn't pop up, it was just like, file is corrupted. I'm like, what you mean? So I was like, working on it for like an hour, hour and a half today. Could not figure it out, but today, when this video goes live, we're gonna have double uploads, so make sure you, you are on the lookout for an extra video on today, so we can make up for the content that we miss. But yeah, thank you guys for being patient, all that good stuff. Hopefully you guys are enjoying the content. You guys already know the deal. Smash that like button if you are. And if you're not subscribed already, what are you doing? It takes a second of your guys' time. Probably already in your guys' speed. But might as well just support the channel by subscribing. But he goes Shadow Rider and Regigigas as a lead. Okay, I'm fine with that. Uh, do I Snarl? Do I Bulldoze? I think I'm just going to Bulldoze. Rock my policy. You get rolling us here. As one unnerved, so no berries. Hey, yo, no berries here. Those start coming out here. Can't get going. Yeah, he's having a slow start here. Uh, I think I'm going to Dynamax, and I could Quake. I think I'm just going to Steel Spike. I think I am just going to Steel Spike. I am going to Bulldoze. I'm just going to drop a nice big old Bulldoze. Slow both of them down. And, uh, fuck my policy. And then, and then, only then, I'm going to start snarling. Trying to get rid of the Shadow Rider Cavalry. I'm not dealing with him. I want him out of here. I want him out of here! A big old Solgaleo. Pokemon is sick. I only have a few more Pokemon to show off for Series 8. Well, the Restricted Mods, we still need Reshiram, Lunala. I don't think I showed off uh, any of the uh, Riders yet. So Shadow Rider, Ice Rider. And I think that's pretty much it, right? Pretty much it, right? Oh, Necrozma. Necrozma. And if you guys want me to uh, you guys want me to show off uh, 
Cosmog. I mean, I will. But that's up to you guys. That is up to you guys. <laughs> but oh, we didn't even need to drop. We didn't even need to drop our weakness policy. But so we get to slow down for both these guys, which is huge. So now Spectre will be able to outspeed uh his uh, his his rider, which is nice. Slow that boy down. Slow that boy down. We get the speed drop there. Steel Spike should be able to dump on this thing, no problem. Tell it to go home, and we'll get this thing out of here. Get him out of here! So we get rid of his Shadow Rider early on, which I really, really like. And then defense is boosting for the squad. And then I'm gonna get after his Reggie Gregus. Is Reggie Gregus physical? He could be physical. I might burn him. Let's see what he does. Oh, he's just gonna go straight for a Darkest Slayer. So he is physical, but he's gonna take out my Spectre. That's fine. Alright, so Spectre gone. He got the policy proc, and we can get rolling out here. Reggie Gagas over here. Big dog Reggie Gagas. I am gonna get out Finny. I really do like Finny here. What if I get out Safety Goggles Moltres? Hmm. I think Finny just has a lot more coverage here. Go Fiery Rathen. What does Jeans wanna do? Who did he have? Who did he have? He did have the Lapras. He did have the Urshifu. I kinda just wanna go Finny. Cause yeah, I, I can see the Urshifu coming out here. See who he brings out here. Show me the Urshifu. Show it to me. He goes Lapras. He goes Lapras, which I'm fine with. I'm fine with that. We're gonna bring out our Tapu Finny. We are gonna get our Misty Surge buzzing out here. Misty Surge. Okay. Um, who's my, who's a threat? Who's the bigger threat? I think he's gonna Dynamax Lapras, maybe. I don't wanna start getting special defense boost for the squad. That'd be really, really nice. I could drop a rock. Which I might do. I think, yeah. I think I'm just gonna drop a rock. And I might just Muddy Water. Or I could Moon Blast. I'm going to Moon Blast over onto uh, you right here. Not drop Muddy Water in case this thing is, uh, has Water Absorb. But here goes uh, Lapras, obviously. Lapras is going to get that Dynamax. That's totally fine. He's going to set up a uh, probably G Max Resonance. And we are going to be able to drop a Rock on this thing, which is going to be nice. And then I should be able to outspeed it next turn. So as long as he doesn't take me out, we should be fine. We'll be fine. He might double up in it, but we'll see, we'll see what happens. We're going to proc his policy, though. Ooh. I kind of didn't think of that. Hopefully it's like late or something along those lines. But we are plus two here. It's not going to KO, but still going to do a decent amount of damage. Just look at that damage. That thick damage, baby. Okay. So both my Pokemon will outspeed this thing next turn. We have the Sandstorm Mole in here. Hopefully it's not policy. Let's see. It is policy. It is. So Sogalia is probably going to drop down here. Or if he goes after Top of Finny. Top of Finny should be able to outspeed both these guys. Be able to get off a nice little Moon Blast. Get it. Onto this Gigas. Do some work on him. Nice damage on that, which is huge. And we do get the special attack drop, but he is physical attack. That's fine. Gonna be able to go for a resident, so he's not gonna change up the weather. And who are you going after? You are gonna go after so good. Eat this up, buddy. My dude, not very effective. Good old steel moves. Um, okay, another rock fall takes you out. Um, do I drop the rock fall? Yeah, I think I have to pose that threat onto you. I think that's the play. You can go for a darkest lariat. We eat. Um, we should be able to eat up another. Darkest layer. So I'm, I'm fine with going for another rock ball into the Finny slot. Or not the Finny slot, the Lapper slot. And just drop another Moon Blast. I think that's going to be the play. Or do I, I think I just Steel Spike get the defense boost for Finny. That would be an even better play. Then I just Moon Blast again. Or I can protect, but no. We're just going to Moon Blast. He might guard, but I have to pose this threat, right? Yep, there's a the guard. I was going to double up into the Regigigas, but I was like, if I... If I go for a Steel Spike into Regigigas, and that thing doesn't guard, then we could be in trouble. Moon Blast can come out here. Can we pick up KO with the uh, Buffets? I know he uh, has the Resonance up. Okay, so the Buffet is going to pick up the KO, which is huge. He's going to go for another Dark Slayer. We should be able to eat, no problem. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. So as long as he comes out... Oh, he does have Urshifu. He does have Urshifu. Like, he's got to have Urshifu, right? That's thing. If Urshifu goes for a Sucker Punch... I mean, that's kind of fine, though. I think we have this one pretty much wrapped up. I'm trying to think, like, what could happen that we can lose? If he goes Urshfu and goes for a first turn priority move, takes out my Sogaleo, my What's Called is going to take him out. Yeah, it's Urshfu. This Moon Blast is going to take him out. With the Buffets, even if it's Sash. But I am liking this. And then we still have uh, What's Called in the back end. I am liking this. I'm going to go for a Sun Steel Spike, see if I can pick up the KO with that, and just Moon Blast over on this slot. I think we're sitting pretty here. I think we are sitting pretty. See what happens here. There goes the sucker punch. Yep. So Sogaleo is dead. That's totally fine by me. That's totally fine. Urshfu's gonna die here. Tapu Finny might die here. So Urshfu, get him out of here. Oh, this thing was an orb. It was an orb. 
Get the sink out of my face. I want it gone. I want it gone. Moonblast, four times super effective. The sink's done. So now, Lapras takes out my Finny. I'm, I'm fine with that. Go go for a lightning. Lapras says bye bye, Finny. It comes down to a 1v1 situation where my Moltres outspeeds. Lapras is going to take buff and damage, and we should be able to just hit with an air slash and pick up this win. So GG's. GG's, unless we miss. If we miss this, I might cry. I might cry on video, on camera, and post this one to YouTube. <laughs> and, and the video is going to end here. It's going to be Jeans cries after a losing match to Lapras. <laughs> And then it would be like that song, all the round the other, <laughs> with like Kermit the Frog memes. <laughs> Tears rolling down. But 1v1, hopefully we can pick this up. Uh, we we'll move in, it's more accuracy. 95, 100, you guys already know we're going for that 100% move. Hundo accuracy. Take this thing out. We out speed. That's Fiery Wrath. That's GG's, baby. That's GG's. Wipe my hands. Light work. It's light work out here. We just eat. We eat all day. 1-0 to get this video started. We hop through our second battle. Look for that winning record. Before we even get into battle number two, I got ourselves a mid-video question of the day. It just popped into my head, but what did you guys think of that new Nintendo Direct? It was 50 minutes long, and I will explain my thoughts after we pick the team, but let me know in the comment section down below what did you guys like, what did you guys dislike, and overall, did you like it as a whole or disliked it as a whole? But second battle, we're going up against a Palkia team with Drizzle Politoed over here, two Intimidate Pokemon. Again, I'm not worried about the Intimidate Pokemon. I do not worry about the Intimidate Pokemon with this squad. We have a lot of special attackers and my physical attackers, Solgaleo cannot be, uh, cannot get an attack drop. I'm gonna go with Spectre right here and Solgaleo. Probably proc another policy. Probably proc another policy. We can't be faked out with that squad because I'm gonna Dynamax Solgaleo. Um, I do want to bring Finny out here with that Fairy Typing, which is lovely. Uh, he does have the Steel Type with the, uh, with the Scizor. I don't want to go same squad. I'm really liking the same squad here. Yeah, I'm gonna go same squad. It just really rocks out. It's kind of like heart and soul here. It's like it's like a good combination of Pokemon with these four guys. But my thoughts on the uh, Nintendo Direct as a whole, I thought it was meh. I thought they should have dropped more bombs for us, considering we haven't had a Nintendo Direct in forever. They dropped like two major games, one Splatoon three, but that doesn't come out till 2022, which I'm super hyped for. I'm gonna be doing live streams, online content for you guys, all that good stuff. I'm really hyped for that game, but again, it doesn't come out till 2022. And then they dropped Skyward Sword HD, which I'm actually very excited for. We're gonna be doing a playthrough of that on this channel. But I feel like they should have dropped another bomb. I feel like they should have dropped maybe like Metroid content, Breath of the Wild 2 content, Odyssey 2 content, because I saw leaks is saying Odyssey 2 is coming out. Uh, what was the third big game? Mario Kart 9. Should drop content on that. Or they should drop content on like Pokemon Gen 4. Like they should drop another bomb. That would have made it great. That would have really made it great. But he leads the Politoed and the uh and the Palkia. And I'm just gonna bulldoze. And then I'm going to actually Dynamax here. And I am going to get the special defense boost. I really do want the special defense boost, especially up against both these Pokemon. Actually, let's change up this weather. We really do not want him having all weather control. But I'm going to drop the Politoed here. And then I'm gonna get after a Palkia next turn. Let's get rolling here. He is going to Dynamax the Palkia. So Palkia getting the Dynamax. He might just Ice Beam into that. And that could be scary. That could be very, very scary. But I think after we minus one this thing with a Bulldoze, we should be able to outspeed it. Be able to change up the weather so he's not doing as much damage. And then be able to get off a, uh, maybe a potentially Max Quake to get a special defense boost for the team. Let's see what happens here. Here goes Big Dynamax. But I feel like, uh... So Galia right here, he reminds me of Pyroar. I think Pyroar is in uh, Gen 7 as well. I believe it's in the same gen as him. Pyroar is really cool, but he, he, he's just like so Galio, but not legendary form. It looks exactly like because they're both lions. But it's just like, it, Pyroar is so Galio, but not legendary form. Helping Hand's gonna come out here. So we should be able to change up the weather before anything happens here. Here goes our Bulldoze. Slow down both these mods right here. And uh, take out the Politoed as well. And change up the weather. So that's a huge turn for us. This is a huge turn for us. We might drop another geyser, but it's going to do less damage all that. I could change up weather next turn as well. There's a speed drop. And then I'll just snarl next turn. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna snarl. Do want to snarl? Let's get this rock fall out here. Yeet, drop you. Get him out of here. Polyto, get out of my face. You're just here for one helping hand. I hope he goes after Spectre. That'd be nice. That'd be nice with the geyser. Considering we can live on our sash. He's not policy. He's gonna go for a geyser. Who are you going after? Who are you going after? He's gonna go after Sogelio, and we eat that up all day. That's a beautiful eat right there. Okay, he is gonna change the weather back to water, which is fine. I am going to snarl him, and I think we're gonna take out the Pokemon on the left side. 
Depends who it is. It really does do depend who it is. Hopefully, it's not a special attacker. It is Coco. And I'm totally fine with dropping it quick to get a special defense boost and snarling up here. I think that's a fair turn. I think that's a really fair turn here. Coco might outspeed my Spectre. But I'm fine with it. That thing is minus one, so we do outspeed the Palkia now. Snarl's going to be able to drop special attack. And then I will actually get a special defense boost over here and be able to take out the Coco as well. So beautiful, beautiful second turn here as well. Because Coco is the only one that's going to be able to outspeed us. And, uh... And Palkia is not going to be able to take out any of us. Unless he goes after my Spectre now. He's going to set up a Reflect. I still see us taking him out with our Policy proc. Let's get this thing out of our face. Let's get him out of here. But Palkia is now minus one. And we're plus one on Special Defense. So, yo. This battle's looking real good. And we take out Coco. Get him out of here, yo. I'm not worried about it. I'm not worried about it at all. This team is phenomenal. No wonder why they, whoever used it or, or whoever created it got ranked number one. It's simple to play. It's very strong. It has awesome Pokemon to support everybody on the team. Gonna go for a Wyrmwind and drop my... It's not gonna drop my attack, which is the good part. Spectre is gonna be able to eat up all day. You're not dropping my attack considering we got that full metal body. You can just knock off your games. He cannot swap out Palkia now, so I'll just Snarl again. Make sure that thing's done for. And then I'll KO its last Pokemon. Which is gonna be instant reward. Yo, you can't fake me out either. You can't fake me out either. This is GG's. This is GG's. And I'll get another special defense boost. Get this thing out of my face. Get this thing out of here. Sick of this game. Snarl up again. And then we will just go for... Do I go for this? Or do I go for a Rock Ball? Uh, this would be a little bit better for us. Actually, we could go for the, buff the Buffets. We are already Special Defense boosted. I am going to go for this Rock Ball here. Just to change up... Actually, I should have kept the weather. He just canceled the battle anyway. Let's go. Dominate that second battle. Absolutely swept them. 2-0. Looking for that perfect record in our third and final battle. Let's get after it, guys. Dude, we are rolling with this team. This team is absolutely amazing. I want this team. This team right here, I want it. It looks so dope right here. We're going up against a Reshiram team. This is my first time actually going up against one or actually seeing one in Sword and Shield considering I haven't used it yet for a video. I think that's going to be our next Pokemon though. I think that is going to be our next Pokemon. That or Lunala, let me know in the comment section down below who you guys would like to see first. But this team's looking amazing. He has a, he has a Draco Fish, the Urshifu, the Lapras, the Reshiram, the Confi. Confi probably combos up with the uh, Reshiram, not even going to lie. And then he has the uh, Thunderous as the final mod. Defiant, so we got to watch out for that. Uh, who should we go into? We got to definitely bring Finny. Looking at this squad, Finny's got to come in here. I might not uh, Dynamax Finny. That's what's good about this team. It has three viable Dynamax Pokemon with the Solgaleo, the Moltres can Dynamax, uh, as well as the Tapu Finny. Um, kind of want to go Grimmsnarl, set up some screens here. Get Buzz in there. I could go with Solgaleo in turn one. Or I could go double support, bring Finny. I could do that. Try to throw some burns. Is Regiram physical or special? That's my question. I'm going to go Grimmsnarl. I'm going to go Grimmsnarl, and I am going to go Solgaleo. I kind of want to go Spectre instead. I'm not even going to lie. I'm going to go Finny here. Uh, do I want Moltres? Yeah, we'll, we'll bring Moltres. We will bring Moltres. So we're going to go basically same squad. Just swap out, uh... Just swap out, uh... Spectre for Grimmsnarl. But if Reshiram is fit or special, I think I should have brought the Porygon. That's what Porygon is really good for, is going up against Pokemon that are huge special attackers. So you can just Eerie Impulse, or he's good to bring in for a Trick Room. So we're not going to be bringing him in for any of today's battles, but that is just exactly how you use him. It's pretty simple with him. Just you know, if you know there's a big special attacker, bring that boy in there and get more from there. So he's going to go with these two. I am going to set up a Light Screen turn one, and I might Protect here. I think Protect is going to be the right call. I think Protect is 100% going to be the right call. Or do I just Sucker Punch and get after that thing? Yeah, I am going to Sucker Punch. And I'm going to Steel Spike. I could get a Defense Boost, or I can get a Special Defense Boost. Uh, what do I want to do? What do I want to do here? I kind of want that Confi going, but... Might be holding that Babiri Berry, so I am just going to go for Max Quake. I think a special defense boost would be better for us overall. And then I'll be able to set up a Light Screen next turn and pester around with some Thunder Waves. Okay. I'm digging it. I'm digging it. Because Confi is rather annoying. We can't really do much up against the Lapras until the Confi is officially gone. Because the Confi can just Floral Heal, Floral Heal, Floral Heal. So let's get rid of that thing and then roll off from there. We are going to end up Dynamax and Solgaleo. But we do have that Tapu Fini in the back. Tapu Fini is going to be able to roll out pretty strong here. He's going to Dynamax Lapras. He is. He's going to set up a Resonance. 
I will be able to set up a light screen next turn. So I can neglect a lot of the damage. We will be boosted special defense plus one this turn because I know so Galeo outspeeds. And hopefully we can take out Confi. Maybe, maybe not. We'll see. If not, I'm going to go ahead and get it for next turn. Maybe I should steal spike into it. But I think we should be fine. I think we should be fine here. See what happens. Giga Drain coming out here. And Giga Drain is going to proc its own policy. That's fine. You can do that. You can do that, kind sir. And he's going to drop a resonance probably over on my Grimstar slot. I wouldn't be surprised. Second Punch comes out here. Bang. Give me my policy. Give me my policy, baby. You get yours, I get mine. We both have our fun, all right? Here we go here. Here goes my Quake. Take out this Confi, please. Get rid of it. Tell it to go home. Hey, say, hey, Confi, get out of my face. Yep, Confi's gone. So that's a huge first turn for us. We get rid of his uh, top support mon here. He triggered the policy, but that's totally fine. We have a special defense boost. I can set up Light Screen. He's probably going to drop a Resonance over on my Grimstone slot. If I had to guess, right? Yeah, if I had to guess, there it goes. Resonance over on the Grimmy. Yep. Grimmy, eat it up, buddy. Your special defense won. Love you. Love you. We set up Light Screen this turn. Um, I don't think I should worry about that. What's called too, too much? That Lapras. I don't think I had to worry about that Lapras, too. I think I just set up a Light Screen and we get one from there. Let me just leave that Lapras in there. Okay, you, you can do your thing. We'll do our thing on your right side. And I think we're fine with this. I think Solgaleo is just going to be able to do dominate all these battles. He's so good. He, I think he's underrated because I've barely seen him and I'm using him right now. He's really, really strong. Like, he's pretty much overpowered. With this team right here, they just, their synergy is phenomenal. It is phenomenal. I really am liking it. But another thing I wish they would have shown in direct is like just more Pokemon content all around. Considering we have a lot of Pokemon games coming out, like Pokemon Snap, I heard leaks about the Master Collection, which ends 1, 2, and 3, all, in all involved in that. I also heard leaks about Gen 4 remakes and Pokemon Unite. I can't believe they're not coming out with more content for that. Considering I think that game's going to be really, really big. It's like a League of Legends slash uh, Smite, but in Pokemon form. I think it's going to be absolutely huge. He's going to bring out the Urshfu. But I am do I set up the Light Screen or do I set up the Reflect? I'm going to set up the Reflect. The Reflect is going to be the play here. And I'm going to get a defense boost. You get it after this thing. The Reflect is going to come out here turn one. So what's called doesn't do too, too much damage here. Here goes a Wicked Blow. Can we eat that up? We do. Lovely. Lovely. Critical hit, obviously. It's 100% crit. And I'll be able to Steel Spike here. I'm going to get a defense boost. I can Sucker Punch on him next turn if he's Sash. Which he is, so I am just going to drop a sucker punch on that thing. There goes his sash. Sashing. We're getting the defense boost as well. And I'll be able to set up a light screen and a uh, sucker punch next turn. Here goes the lightning over on the Grimstrong. Grimstrong, can you eat this? You should be able to. You do. I love you. Not stabbed, so I figured we can survive on a little bit of red. Let's go, baby. We buzzing. We buzzing here. Uh, he can sucker punch me as well. How about I do this? How about I do this? Because he's gonna probably gonna try to sucker punch me. How about I do this? I kill the Earth food to buffets. And we set up a light screen. We set up a screen full of lights. If you go for a sucker punch, it's not gonna do anything. But no, he's just going for a straight wicked blow. That one's on me. That one's on me. That's rough. That is rough, jeans. Did I just lose this battle for me? I thought he was gonna go for sucker punch for sucker punch. I should just play the simple move. Now he picks up a free double kill. Mm. Mm. Picks up a free double kill. We got Finny and Moltres. Kind of scary. Just kind of scary. Okay. Um. What is the play gonna be? What is the play gonna be? We have our screen set up. Um. Hmm. Urshfu is just gonna drop a wicked blow. I think I have the moon blast over onto you. I think I just fiery wrath. I think I just fiery wrath here. Oh, this is scary, man. I don't like this one bit. Helping hands can come out here. Yeah, yo, leave me alone. Yo, chill on me. Do not KO me. Do not KO me. Poison. You're rocking poison jab? And he did not... Oh, we eat, though. We eat up all day. He's probably going to get the poison, though. Does not. Fire Wrath. Okay, so we're chilling here. I like this. So he wasn't choice. He wasn't choice. So he could have went into a Sucker Punch. Maybe. I don't think he's rocking Sucker Punches. Usually, uh, Pokemon with Poison Jab or Earth Food with Poison Jabs are not... Are replacing Sucker Punches. 
The Moonblast can come out here. I'm really not too worried about this Lapras. I really am not. I'm more worried about this, this final mod. Who's he going to be? Hopefully we outspeed it. And it's going to be... Oh, this thing. Oh, no. Turbo Blazing. Yo. Reshram, what's goody? I'm going to Moonblast that thing. I want to out of here. I want to out of my face. Do I Air Slash? Or I think I should go for another Fiery Wrath. We're going to hit, hit some double moves here. What is this thing's speed? Is this thing going to be able to outspeed my squad? Reshram has the final mod. It's coming down. It's coming down. I kind of want him to win. I kind of just want to see what this Reshram can do. I don't really mind losing. I really don't care about my record too, too much. Which we are winning record. We are in Master Ball tier. We're top. We're like, I think we're sitting at 9,000? Yeah, last time I checked, it was 9,100. Something. Roughly. And our record is sitting at 32. And I think 19. But he's going kind to of helping hand here. What you want to do? What you want to do, fool? Fire Wrath can come out here. Want some damage. And this Moonblast. This Moonblast out speed. Earth Power's going to come in here. Finny, eat this up. Good work, Finny. I can't believe you didn't go for a stab move there. Moonblast come out here. I'm going to do some more damage on you. This thing's bulky. It's really bulking up. The Life Orb is going to take me out next. Oh, there goes that Aurora Veil. There goes your precious Aurora Veil. There goes your precious Aurora Veil. That just gave me the win, I think. I think it just gave me the win. Let's see. It might be one for Earth Power instead of a stab move. Is it stab? Is he just dragon type? I think he's just dragon. Dragon. Look at this. Fiery Wrath comes out here. No Roar Bell. Can we take out the Lapras? We do not. One more Fiery Wrath and that's a double kill. Oh, who flinched? We can flinch with that move? Oh, I dig it. Dang, that comes out there. That's going to finish that one up. Who flinched? Lapras flinched? It said someone flinched. That should be Reshiram, right? Reshiram at speeds, unless, uh, it was Lapras. Oh, they both flinch? Oh, I, I didn't know Fiery Wrath can make Pokemon flinch. Hey, what? What? Yo, I didn't know that, and we got a double flinch? That's GG. We're just gonna go for an Air Slash. GG, baby. 3-0 with this unstoppable Solgaleo team. That was an awesome set of battles. Let's get it. Feels good to be back in that 3-0 perfect record category for the videos. This Solgaleo team was absolutely amazing. I loved it so much. Very simple to play. The team synergy was amazing. And Solgaleo is just a top tier Pokemon. It really is. Like, using him today, he's bulky. He has a lot of coverage moves that work well. We can change up weather. We can get special defense boost. We can get regular defense boost. And we got the stat moves rolling as well. This thing is unstoppable. It can set up the team for victory all around. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.